My name is Gert-Jan Burgers and I'm director of the Royal Netherlands Institute here in Rome. I'm an archaeologist and a historian and doing amongst others research on the history and archaeology of Rome and more in general of the Italian landscape, which is again my specialization. And it is from that perspective that we have decided to organize, in close collaboration with the Danish Institute, this seminar on the relationship between humanities and business. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I would like to ask you to take a seat. Welcome to the Dutch Institute. What we would like to do now is to redirect a bit the course of the Institute. Instead of only focusing on the classical tradition in the most perfect humanities, humanist uh, perspective, we would like to focus on social responsibility, to investigate to what degree we can be part of this. For me, social responsibility means bring heritage, the historical cultural, cultural heritage into the picture again of modern society, to work on the relationship between local populations, between modern society and their heritage. So I think this conference is nice because it stresses all the time the wonderful uh, possible applications and potential applications for society and uh, business. We, for example, create an app uh, for the digital canal ring in Amsterdam. But why are we doing this? We're doing this because there's already more than 20 years of research to collect a big database of all painters that lived in Amsterdam, all uh, composers, all uh, book publishers in the Golden Age. But nobody has done anything with this except for the researchers themselves. Um, which is too bad. In fact, now we're working together with a company um, to create a digital canal ring, to create an app where people, not just researchers, but also tourists, can just figure out which painting was hanging where in the 17th century. Yeah? Where was it where the night watch hanged and why was it hanging there? So tourists walking around the canal ring in Amsterdam can then figure this out. And the nice thing is, this is a collaboration between researchers and a company and the result is a real marketable product which is again interesting for the university but also for the interested uh, tourists or even just ourselves. My name is Don Cook, I'm Australian. Uh, I'm, uh, I work for a, 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 a function called banking which is a utility function which adds value from and intermediates financial resources between people who have excesses to people who have needs, who want to create and produce and generate, and generate goods and services for those people. So we're a critical part of society. I think the great uh, opportunities are around things that we collectively care about, but we're not very good at actually carrying out. So, I mean, we're in Rome, which is already a very beautiful city, but it has proved extremely difficult for human societies to go on building equally beautiful cities. We're astonished at the beauty of Rome because it's unusual. And I think that's a great pity. But if you drill down and ask, why is it unusual? Why aren't all cities as beautiful as Rome? The answer must be that there is a disconnect between the forces that are, in a sense, are building, constructing the buildings, laying out the roads, uh, building the hospitals, administrating the, administering the cities. It's a disconnect between that and the ideals of beauty, civilization, civility, the things that we love about the city of Rome. Well, I thought for a long time that the challenges would be especially cultural huh, in nature. Uh, to say that, uh, that, that the, the, that the uh, goals of a company, of a commercial company, were so different from the goals of a uh, humanities researcher that there would be a culture clash almost. But funny enough, interestingly enough, enough, this did not really happen. I've just come from speaking and, and the, really, the, the real message I got from that is people are still focused on either one or the other 
when it's all about the people are part of both. And it's, and it's, that's the, cri the crux of the whole matter is you've got the right people, you've got the right people in the right roles, business will benefit, humanities will benefit, we will grow, society will grow, society will benefit. Uh, so uh, I, I see it as a people issue, sorry, or a people challenge, not a people issue. But I also would encourage people to think, you know, I remember I'm talking about private policies and public policies and how they go together. So a lot of business and society is not about necessarily engaging business directly, but engaging communities and dialogues around what they, as a collective expression of their values, would like to see from business and how they want to engage with business. So it's not just how can we engage with business, I would argue, but how can we engage with society around critical issues where business is leaving imprints, positive or negative, um, that we may want to try and help influence from our um, view as uh, political actors, as consumers, etc. We have been talking a completely different language. That's why we still have to get into contact with each other, to understand each other. And we were focused on completely different issues. This is the great hope, that we could bring together the dynamic energy, the competence, the will to get things done with sensitivity to and appreciation of our less tangible but really important values, beauty, grandeur, the, the loveliness of a civic environment. I see a lot of people with good ideas. I see a lot of people with desire to make change, desire to put themselves out there, desire to do, desire to move and set things in motion desire to be part of something, desire to contribute with something. Um, and I certainly see that I see a responsiveness from business uh, to receive it. it. It's sort of just start <laughs> and bring it on. So there is still some, quite some mission work to do here. Yeah. And I think this conference is an excellent uh, example of that. Don't worry about making it exactly 100% perfect because you need to fail to learn. You could say, I mean, to put it romantically, the humanities need to get more seductive. They need to woo business. They need to, I don't know if the word woo is very familiar, but it means it's a, it's a, you, you seduce, you make the other person enthusiastic about you. And learning to do that, I think, would be a very, very constructive step. To us, the steps to take more of this, uh, or actually more of business people, uh, uh, getting into universities and talking about the simplicity of business and not making it too complex. Well, we have to take social responsibility with regard to specific societal issues. Going out and doing humanities and business, becoming role models, is, is definitely going to be my mission from here. But I've been very struck by how um, willing people are to address this problem. There's a sense of here is something we need to get good at. But it's kind of like early days. It's the early days of a relationship. Business and the humanities are, have you know, been out to dinner a few times, but we're not married yet.